so we've been um, a- 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 excitedly awaiting the Nicky Knowles album. Okay? <laughs> November, I believe. November the 3rd. We're gonna have a Knowles Vember. La- Knowles Vember. We're going to have a launch party on the air and we're going to um, analyse each track. Luke Haynes, I've invited Luke Haynes in to help me analyse it because he's enjoying Nicky Knowles' work. Beautiful. Um, and and um, um, we, we managed to get a snatch, just a snatch yesterday, of a song called An Eye for an Eye by Nick Knowles. Oh, it nearly brought me to tears. Well, um, it was on YouTube a few years ago, a video of him performing it. Um, and then uh, this is the story I've heard. And I don't know if this is true, but it got so much flack that it was withdrawn from it. Why? I don't know. I mean, why the flack? Here's the thing. You can never delete anything from the internet. Something's on the internet, you take it down. Somewhere, somehow, it's still there. And there's a, there's a website called Wayback Machine. And if you know what to type into Wayback Machine, you could, I think you can use it to go and look at Facebook like Facebook used to look like oh. in the beginning and stuff. If you know what to type into it, you can go back in time. It's like time travel online. And someone found... An eye for an eye. Now, I, I'm slightly. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to. I don't know what to do with the video because I don't want to. I don't want to get in trouble, right? But I have got the entire "Eye for an Eye" song. It's five minutes and twenty-two. And do you know what, dear listener? I think you guys are ready for this. Okay, sit back. If you've got a fat one there, spark up this bad boy because this is Nicky Knowles. An eye for an eye.
driven by and greed Where the poor misguided Deliver us children in the need So the cries of the fallen made us deaf as well oh no come on that's unfair what have you done do you know what it sounds like though it sounds it does sound a lot like um there is remember that do you know this song Eastern world it is exploding no that, that man sang four notes not just two yeah there well, you go that's uh, Nicky Knowles um it, uh, it's real, it exists, there is an album coming out That song is not on the album, unfortunately and Just to say, guys, I ain't never going to release an album Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to damage your hearing like that um, Sometimes you've just got to know your limits Good evening, John Hello, mate Hello, John <laughs> Oh, God, what the hell was that? Wow <laughs> um, That was Nicky Knowles singing An Eye for an Eye Moving, wasn't oh, it? Oh, crikey yeah. Oh, crikey it sounded like the crash test dummies. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the crash test dummies meets Leonard Cohen meets Lou Reed. Oh. Huh? Drunk. I, I, I could, uh, by the way, I've got to say uh, thank you to um, both... T- Toby sent me that audio version, so thank you, Toby. Right. And uh, Paul found the original video, so thank you, Paul, and thank you, Toby. It's appreciated. Don't ever play that again, because it'll give people a heart attack, mate. You don't want to, you know... Mate, when you wait till the album comes out. We're gonna we're oh, gonna deconstruct it song by song. Oh please, you're not gonna do that. I'm gonna invite surely. him in. For, I'm gonna invite him in for a live session. Mm-hmm. But none of you must oh. tell him. If we invite Nicky Knowles in for a live session, none of you must tell him. We take. We've got our tongues in our cheek. None of you must do that. No, bad. no, I won't. I won't. But uh, I'll tell you what. You, if you pick me up, because yeah. I'm, I'm actually disabled, would you like me to come in the studio and clip him around the ear off for it? Um, when you say pick you up, how heavy are you? Well, I, well, I, I, I might be, you know, I might want a cab from from Brighton, you say. I'm not, uh, well, I'm not, hang on a minute. I'm not going to pay for a cab from Brighton for a disabled person just so you can attack one of Britain's greatest talents, John. Are you one insane? Of Britain's greatest singers, they're flipping out. God help us! I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to leave you on on the. I'm going to push you through the the stones on Brighton Beach and, and leave you for the tide to come in. How's about that? Fine. Fine, I'll tell you what, I'll probably win the fight, because you, you know. <laughs> you disabled people are so aggressive. I know, I know we are, but we're so good at it as well. Yep, yeah, John, thank you, very, <laughs> thank you very much indeed. Let's go to uh, Gatford. Good evening, Gatford. Wow. Yep. That, that song changed my life. Has it? Good, tell us, mm. tell us more. Well, I, I was depressed before, now I'm practically happy. Yay. 
because uh, that 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 makes me believe I could sing. Hey, guys, come on! Cause, it's cause so if if he can do it, I could do it. This is so. Um... This is so uh, uh, easy to snipe and to snigger. I've heard rumours that you've been speaking and playing some Nick Knowles music. Oh, it's Midge. We've spoken before, haven't we, Midge? No, no, I'm a first-time caller. I just recognised the voice. Mm. Um, Yes, I have. We've been playing An Eye for an Eye by Nick Knowles. I must admit, I haven't heard that. Okay, I can play it again. But I'm... Go on, then. No, it's all right. You're all right. I I am not happy about this. Why is that, mate? He's branching out from DIY yep. and taking the jobs of pop stars that are struggling to get a record contract and a, and a deal yep. to put out singles, and he's coming along and taking, the, you know, the, the work and the possibilities of getting some labour and some some hard-needed funds for pop stars. He can't do that. And you know what? Yep. I'm, I want to stick it back up him. What? I'm going to... I, I want to make a celebrity DIY program, oh. and do you know who I've been in touch with? Go on. I've been in touch with Jimmy Nail. Here we go. Steps. Here we go. This is beautiful. Men at work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shola Rama. Oh, I thought you were going to go MC. No. Shakademus Pliers is on his holidays in Devon. <laughs> um, Stephen Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> In spiral carpet fitters. Oh, the car's Hook. a bit fresh. Peter Hook. God. The carpenters. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Sister Sledge. Yep. Oh. Um, Timmy Mallet. Yep, of course. And when I'm trying to put a picture up, I can never get a straight line. That's why I'd call on Rula Lenska. Because <laughs> you know she did backing vocals and I could be so good for you. Yeah. Um, Rula Lenska. You should try level 42. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I'm not good at needlework, so I'd always call sewing out sister, <laughs> and I'd do it all in Shed 7. Thanks so much for calling, Midge. You're very welcome. The radio show where the owls are not what they seem. Do you or have you ever watched Twin Peaks? The Late Night Alternative with Ian Lee. We could be dreaming and meeting each other in our dreams. On Talk Radio.